Hi, Olivia. Good morning. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. I want to introduce you to Ashley and to Tommy. This is Olivia Douglas from This and That with Olivia. She's in Maryland. Hi. Maryland. Hi, Olivia. I will give you, um, it's about an eight minute interview. I'll ping you at about six minutes when you've got two minutes left. Sounds good. I'll go off camera and uh, go on mute and you can get started. Thanks, Nikki. Hi there. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. It's starting to warm up here in Maryland, so I can't complain. All right. Yeah. You can. We, us Angel <laughs> that's Angelinos complain all the time. It rained a little more than usual this year, and everyone had a panic. Yeah, we're just appalled. We're like, oh, what is happening? <laughs> we didn't get any snow here in Maryland this year either. Usually we get like at least one snowstorm, but we didn't get any. Oh, and wow. I, this it was the year that I bought my kids snow gear. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's just <laughs> by, how by, by buying that snow gear, you guaranteed that there would be no snow. Right. But then if it would have snowed and I didn't have the snow gear, they would have been really mad at me. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I returned it thanks to Target's long return policy. <laughs> Anyways, well, I appreciate both of you guys taking some time to chat with me today. I have an eight-year-old, a two-year-old, and a four-month-old. Wow. Um, so you yeah, get that's, it. That's what I say. Yes, I totally get it. Yeah. Um, my husband's on travel right now for work, and so I'm definitely overwhelmed, to say the least. <laughs> I hear you. I have, I have a 14-month-old, uh, and, and well, I don't hear you. My wife hears you, because I, I just left for a month for work, and we couldn't sort out the travel, and... Um, and you have three, my God, yeah. Whoa. How yeah. are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. thankfully the uh, younger two are at daycare and my oldest son is on spring break, but he has um, some occupational therapy downstairs. So they're occupied, but it's still nights are hectic, but um, they were able to screen some of the uh, Rugrats episodes with me. So that kept good. them entertained for some time. All which right. was very good for them because it brought back all the memories of me watching it as a kid. So that was kind of cool. I'm like, watch this part, watch, watch what he does. <laughs> so they were, I don't think they were as excited as I thought they would be, but they liked it. So that was good. That's great. Good. Yeah. So I was curious how each of you feel that you relate to the characters you voice. That's Go great. Ahead, Tommy. Yeah. And Ashley's heard me answer this before, but uh, I, I Stu's pretty high strung. I can I can be pretty high strung when when things don't um, go the way I hope they would go, which of course is most of life. Um, uh, uh, and you know, I hope I approach that the the, the kind of curveballs life throws you with with the same humor that Stu does. I'm not sure if I always succeed in that respect. Um, and I. Um, uh, I think Stu is sort of eternally curious about uh, how the world works. He's always trying to, he's always tinkering. He's always trying to make things uh, uh, better or, or, or in, and sort of improve himself and life for his family. And um, again, maybe I aspire to that more than I embody it, but I think there is, <laughs> you know, a little bit of, of overlap there too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dee Dee, I, I relate to her, um, so uh, her, her, her like bounds of creative energy, and she's a very creative person, and but doesn't always know like where to funnel it, and she's always trying these different things, like whether it's like macrame crocheting, or or you know whether it's in her cooking, or wanting to create a a show on social media like talking to people click click clack I think we call it it's like our version of TikTok but it's click clack <laughs> like you know she's always trying she has ideas and she's creative and she wants to do these things but doesn't really know how and I think I I suffer from that a bit too or it's like I just want to make something but I don't know what or where or how and so yeah I get that that's always helpful that you can relate in that aspect because I know it can be, you know, hard to to get into that character, but you're like, hey, I can relate. Like this is me on a normal basis. I'm sure it's easy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, do you guys have a favorite, um, a favorite scene, I guess, or something fun you can share about the series? Oh, I really loved um, 
I, from the episode, I think it was called Traditions, the holiday episode. Um, I think that was in the first, yeah, that's in the first season, um, where they were- I was actually remembering the episode names? I know. Well, I, I just that. remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one I can remember <laughs> but because it's it was about their family traditions and how it was Tommy's like first Hanukkah yeah. coinciding with Christmas coinciding you know and trying to make it work for everybody and um Dee, Dee was kind of losing her mind because she's wanting to make everybody happy and feel like seen and included so they have their you know holiday experience that they have always had traditionally and so I, I remember really liking that. I think it was really sweet, and um, I liked that one. I don't know. I have really fond memories of recording some of the upcoming stuff when when uh, Stu and Dee Dee welcome a new baby. Um, because <laughs> I mean, it was just completely paralleling my life when I was laying down those recordings, and um, and and this and it's 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 fun it's upbeat um you know it's it's animation but it's it can get a it can get genuinely emotional for a few beats here and there and there's some really sweet stuff when uh when dill comes comes into their world and then i just really dig seeing what everyone else does you know we live with our own stuff for a little while um and then when you when you get to see it all come together that the last episode of, of last year there's this horse named clompers <laughs> Who comes? Who comes in their house and helps them organize? <laughs> and uh, and it's just the funniest thing to me. Clompers is so funny to me, and I did not know, I did not know what Clompers was going to look like or anything. <laughs> got to do some re-recording with that episode and see Clomp. I mean, just the name Clompers. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. really funny. The show is funny, and so it's so fun to do it because it just really is. A delight. I really hope parents, uh, you, you know, know that it is something you can truly watch with your kids and enjoy, uh, like mm -hmm. in, in a way that some animation, you know, may not be. Uh, it's, you know, great stuff for the kids, obviously, but man, there are some sly, funny, subtle jokes in there that really, that really appeal to me. I mean, of course, the miniature horse we helped you organize is not subtle at all. But <laughs> That's my favorite thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That was actually my next question. Um, wondering like what you hoped people saw in the show and what you hoped kids and parents got out of it. And I think you alluded to that with, you know, talking about how you truly hope that they know this is a show they can watch with their kids. Cause I saw that too, when I was watching it, the screening it with my kids, right. I'm like, Oh, this is hilarious to me. They may not grasp it, but it's not anything harmful. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel comfortable watching the show with them, which in a lot of animation, like you said, you can't really get that. So is there any like a single message that you hope they gather out of out of the show besides that or anything? You know what I really love about the show is that like, um, is that embrace your community. You know what I really love about Stu and Dee Dee's house is there's people coming and going all the time and they're they're helping out with each other's kids and doing sort of group activities and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm totally answering your question, but like, you know, I think I could take a note from that to have a little more of an open door policy. Uh, I mean, it just, it's just such a warm, inviting vibe um, uh, in this show. And, um, and, you know, I think, uh, you know, the kids and the adults, both the kids and adult characters are both, you know, exposed to, so many different ideas and different people throughout the course of a day. Um, I don't know. I think we'd all do a little better kind of uh, trying to do a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's their their humanity that really shines through that I love. It's like you see in the kids world, you see the kids like fears and the and the the big things that they're going through and facing and but then you come over into adult land and you see they have a ton of fears and anxieties and they're just trying to figure it out too like they're they're people first and and then parents um and so and that's just real like in life i'm not a parent but i just know like living an adult life i still very much feel five sometimes <laughs> like oh what it, what do i do or i'm scared but i'm doing it anyway or you know and um i think it really embraces that like, the messiness parents, i think parents would be wise to um <laughs> that they're 
their their rugrats are are maybe a little smarter and more <laughs> clever than they uh, they might imagine. Um, and I and I think this this obviously turns the volume up to eleven on that idea. You know, uh -huh. they're just sitting there thinking about snot and when they get their next bottle. They're they're up to something. These 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 little folks. I can vouch for that as well. My yes. two-year-old is the bane of my existence with all of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I totally get it. Last night she told her daddy that she was eating peas. Well, she was eating M&Ms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the same thing. So I, I do love that the show is relatable. And again, I appreciate you guys' time to chat with me today and to be able to share this with my readers. I think it'll be fun. Great. Well, good luck. Thank you, you so know, much. I know you're plenty busy right now, so good luck with it all. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. hang I in there. You got it. <laughs> He's coming home tonight, so I will be very relieved. <laughs> all right. Very good.